Up until AutoCAD versions 2014, we used to have down here, just underneath the command line, the model tab and the layout tabs. And what you do with the model tabs and the layout tabs is in the model tab, which is here, where we've got our electrical drawing right now, is where you do all your design work. Then in the layout tabs, older versions of AutoCAD used to refer to that as the paper space, is where you used to set up your title blocks and obviously scaled viewports, things like 1 to 50 scale and so on. Now, because we're working with AutoCAD Electrical, a lot of our drawings are schematics. They're not actually scaled drawings of architectural designs, for example. So we don't need to worry about our title block being in the layout space or the paper space. So you can see our title block here is in the model space. Now, how do I know that that's in the model space? I can hover over the Demo 01 Drawing tab there, and you can see I'm currently in model. It's highlighted with the blue there. Now, if I go and click on Layout 1 here, that'll now take me into Layout 1. Now, in older versions of AutoCAD, up to AutoCAD 2014, I could click on Tabs down here underneath the command line. You now do it differently in AutoCAD Electrical 2015 and all other AutoCAD 2015 versions. So you can see now that I just hover here. Layout 1 is currently the current layout. I go and click on the Model tab again, and I'm back in the model again. Now, when we were looking at the status bar, there was another way of doing this as well. By clicking on the model button here, that then takes me into the paper space. So if I click there like so, that then tells me I'm in paper. If I click on paper, it takes me back into model, but it still leaves that view there like that. To change that, what I can do is hover here over the tab, go back into the model, and I'm back in the model space for my AutoCAD electrical drawing. So if you're used to those older tabs sitting underneath the command line, it will take a little bit of getting used to. It's very subtly different, not dramatically different, but it's actually quite a quicker way of doing it because up here, you've obviously got all your tabs of all your drawings open. And what I can do is I can just hover there and I can go, right, where do I need to be, model or layout? If I hover over them like that, it gives me a preview as well, which is really nice. So you can see the layout one tab there, with the dark, bold, black line there, that's my viewport, putting my title block to zoom extents in that viewport in the layout one space. Here, if I go to model, which is the current one, you can see what's going on. One of the other nice features is I've got the ability there to plot that or to publish it if I need to. If I click there, I go back into there. If I hover there and click on model, I go back into model again. So that's how you work with your model and layout in inverted commas tabs. The actual tabs aren't there underneath the command line anymore. They're actually up here now on these tabs here, the drawing tabs. So you've got model and it's not a tab anymore as such. It's actually a link from the drawing tab. It's quite clever how it works and it's a little bit more free flowing. I've got used to it now, and I find that that workflow works a lot better than going down to the bottom of the screen and having to click on the model tab or the layout tabs. So for the purposes of this AutoCAD electrical course, we will be using the drawing tabs here, and we'll be using model and layout like so.